Do you want to do a countdown? In five, four, three, two. Hey guys, welcome back to another Bro Create podcast. I'm Brock. And I'm Tate. And today we are going to be talking about our week. If you don't know, I got deployed back out into the field to work um, because the coronavirus stuff's kind of been slowing down. Uh, So (laughs) it's been a little uh, interesting having to time manage everything and put everything together. So Yeah, it sounds terrible. Sounds like a hellish nightmare. Yeah. It's uh it's not 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 ideal for the situation. So, I spent a lot of time this week just trying to figure out how I was going to basically getting getting back into the groove of working every day at, at 3 in the morning. So, uh it was definitely definitely a little stressful. Yeah, so. it sounds stressful. With my two dogs, I've been focused on just trying to get back into the groove of going to work every day, and then <clears throat> kind of everything else got pushed back, because mm-hmm. that's the way I make money right now, and unfortunate as it is, it's been a little hard to juggle the podcast, content creation, and working from 4 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock at night, so. Yeah, it's been hard, um, also because like during the, whenever he's at work, I have to watch these guys, and whenever he's gone, I don't really have anyone to like you know maybe hold the camera at some points you know mm-hmm. be a be a small player in my videos not really do much but i know it's still it can be useful right and so whenever he's at work i don't really i can't really do that and i, I mean i could practice editing but i like to practice editing on my own videos mm-hmm. and not on like other people's videos or anything because then it just feels like are know. you a script heavy type of guy or are you like uh able to make scripts or do you more like more of the uh the organic stuff I make like a layout of what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Like I have beats. I um, but yeah, like I have beats mm-hmm. that I want to hit at certain points, and um, whoever's in the video, I'm just like, yeah, we're gonna do this, this, and this. Improv your way to it. Like for instance, if you guys seen the Pizza Van Channel, we did a bit where I was like a douchebag, and mm-hmm. we literally just made up bits as we went along, mm-hmm. and um, we like. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to have me come in being like, sorry, no paparazzi, whatever. And then we wanted to have people be interviewed and say, like, say whatever they wanted, but just mm-hmm. at least say, like, oh, yeah, Tate's a dick now. What happened? Um, and <laughs> nothing happened. Um, and then, like, at the end, we wanted um, him, like, to have, like, a prelude where it's like, hey, Tate, did you hear that we hit, like, a thousand subscribers on a video? And it's like, really? And then, like, he camera paint. Like, do, we do, like, a quick, like, swift re- to, like, me, and I'm just, like, automatically in, like, a douchebag outfit. Mm, nice. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. It, it was a lot of fun, but we just had little bits that we wanted to do, and how we we have point A and point B, and I think we're all funny enough people, other mm-hmm. than myself, um, that we can work our way to point B really, like just however we want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flawlessly. And uh, <clears throat> so that's good. I mean, you're not too heavy on the script, so you can't fill your time with that, mm-hmm. and we can't really record when one of us is gone mm-hmm. you know 12 hours out of the day it's crazy and so it's just like it's more than 12 hours right so i basically go out store to store and if i'm like out in the middle of nowhere whenever i finish my day i you know it's a long drive back mm-hmm. yeah, so like it d- just depends where where i finish my day and how far out i finish my day mm-hmm. so that's the unfortunate thing right now but it's the way it is because in my opinion we got deployed a little earlier than expected and what i'm comfortable with but it's what pays the bills i have to go yeah um so that's the way it turned out and we're just trying to figure out a good groove at this moment i think what we were talking about was maybe doing the podcast on mondays you know waking up in the morning having some breakfast and then doing the podcast on mondays because i don't work on mondays Mm -hmm. and i think that would hit a good flow uh, Cause that gives me Monday to do it, and then to finish editing and then post it by Monday night. Yeah, you know I feel comfortable doing that, and I then uh, and then I have work the rest of the week, so mm-hmm. it is what it is. It it cuts down the amount of time I have to get content from video games, and so it's been really really hard trying to get enough content to fill a video mm-hmm. for this upcoming week. Yeah, and so I find myself really gasping for air basically Mm -hmm. and by air i mean time like i'm just i'm drowning 
in the the small clips I'm getting in in every game because I'm just running out of time. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so it's I'm 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 really really excited to try to find a new game because mm-hmm. it'll be a lot easier to get content when I can just play. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't consist of me getting any cool clips or anything. It's just like gameplay mm-hmm. and like having fun. Yeah. So I um actually I have something interesting. I was like I totally forgot about it and I wasn't initially gonna talk about it on the podcast, but I actually did make a not, like another video like recently. Hmm. Um, and it was like, so uh, it was late night. Um, my friend from my old school, cause like I, I moved to North Carolina, right? Um, and I moved from a little small town in misery, mm-hmm. uh, Missouri, for those of you that don't know. And last night we were talking or not last night, a few nights ago we were talking and, um, he was like, we were just sitting there talking and having like a conversation and it was funny as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like we were just like riffing off of each other really well. And so he's like, dude, what if we just recorded this? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, bet. And then so we turned on our cameras, and he turned on OBS, and we talked about, like, our work experiences mm-hmm. and, like, shit like that. And it honestly laid a good foundation for a possible podcast. No. Nice. Because, like, the way we were talking, it was, like, interesting. Yeah. Like, we just talked, I was, like, talking about how I worked at Harris Teeter and, like, some of the things that I ran into while I was there. Mm-hmm. And, like, just the crazy customers. Like, one went nuts over rotisserie chicken, and it was funny to me. The rotis. Uh, the rotis in this bitch was terrible. So yeah, uh, she didn't like that. And then he talked to me about how he worked like a whole month without breaks, because no one told him to go on break. Yeah, and I had a very similar situation, but we both handled it differently. He's like, I was just there to work. I was just there to make money. And for me, I was like, fuck, fuck that. I want to get treated properly. And so like, yeah. I made a big deal out of it while he just kept doing it. It was interesting. Mm. Um. So yeah, that was interesting. Um, we recorded for like two hours. So I, uh, I, I was, de- I think that's a great idea. And I was definitely thinking about how we're very technical in our podcast and it would be really great to, to, to have more fun. Like, uh, yeah. like I feel like we have great personalities, but I, I feel like as of late, we're just kind of like saying more jargon and like trying to be mm-hmm. more technical than we are just like having it's a good like, time. We're not professional by any fucking means. <laughs> no, I don't know no, what no. we're doing. Yeah, we have no idea what we're doing. We're just kind of we're we're just going. And I feel and, like it's uh, boiling down like every episode. It's like, yeah, you won't believe what I did in premiere today. It's like, yeah, who's gonna care? Who cares? Yeah, yeah, that's not really you know what, people what care we're about. People care about for. weird shit. Yeah, they care about the weird stuff that we encounter, right? Mm-hmm. Like, some dude just attacked me on my video. Like, that's what they want to hear. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or at least I think so. And I mean, we've had some people who actually like the podcast, but I feel like we can definitely go for a more laid back tone. Yeah, you know? yeah, I agree, and I think that's what it's about. It's about friends, you know. You guys are our friends. You're your friends, and we're here to talk to you about how we have been doing in creating. Yeah, exactly. Content and stuff. So, I think that we're trying to reel back a little bit of mm-hmm. the nerdiness, as as hard as it may be for us, and just kind of like relax. We did. I did get some uh, like an external hard drive. So that we could transfer videos to each other. I think that's really, really helpful. That's going to be dope. Um, <clears throat> and, like, it's a very small portable one on my keychain. Um, but it's 500 gigabytes. Super dope. It was, like, I think 60 bucks at Walmart. But I was, like, really bummed out because I'm not going to carry around a cord with me everywhere I go. And so I got this little bracelet cord thing. And uh seems pretty dope. I definitely would recommend it. That's awesome. Um, and it'll be really good for just like going, like on the go type of like storage. So I could just run it up to his room, plug mm-hmm. it in, run it back down to my room, or you know, change computers, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. It'll be way <laughs> easier to do that kind of stuff. So that's good. I was looking at alternative microphones because we said we had a lot of po- audio problems, mm-hmm. and uh, they're fucking expensive, dude. Fuck. Like, yeah, so. The audio mixer that's better than the one I have, because the one I have is garbage. It's still bad. I hate it. Like, I'm really upset that I bought it, because I bought it before, and it broke. Yeah. And I went down to Guitar Center, and I was like, hey, man, I didn't like this one. Can I get a different one? And he's like, oh, yeah, uh, let me go find one. And long story short, they didn't have another one. And instead of ordering it me online, he just was like, we can't really do that. So, like, if you want, you could just have this one. And if you don't like it, you could bring it back. And what so basically, it was working fine 
until literally the day after i feel like the stupid warranty went out and it it Mm -hmm. fucked up so like i'm done with that brand i'm looking i'm gonna get a different one hopefully i can order it offline and just go through amazon Mm -hmm. uh but find that specific mic though huh i really want to find the specific mic though that they use yeah Yeah, we've been watching a podcast recently and that's why we want to go for the more laid back tone because it's so much more enjoyable just to kind of like talk Mm-hmm. Right and not like being like oh we should talk about this is the theme of the pod like there's, there doesn't need to be a theme yeah, like, yeah. You just talk I agree um and they use microphones and this is gonna be an example I'm gonna manhandle the microphone and it's gonna make noise you guys are gonna see how like loud it can be and like moving it and stuff like that but they move it all the time and there's no noise yeah and it's fucking weird because I just I don't get it like ours is like borderline top of the line like and it's just. Like, it's a Blue Yeti. Like, everyone heard of Blue Yeti. Every YouTuber that has actually, like, tried to do YouTube to their, like, fullest has heard of a Blue Yeti microphone. Yeah. And it's, like, just weird. Yeah, so definitely. Crazy. I I will be looking into, because last podcast I talked about do, going into, like, a few uh, softwares that help decrease the, the noise background and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I want to look into those. I haven't been able to. I've been swamped, like, working and doing my content and, you know, trying to make videos and stuff. So uh, I haven't been able to look into that. But I'm going to really try to dive into that this weekend and find a software that eliminates a lot of background noise. And I do have a different mic than this one with an audio mixer. And I think I want to – I think I would prefer that, honestly. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to look into bringing that one downstairs and using that for my setup um, <clears throat> because I just – I think it will do better mm-hmm. as far as like running on the software that I'm looking at getting and stuff like that. So I'm still having issues with audio. I don't feel comfortable with my audio yet, and so that's what I'm running into right now. And then as far as creating content, I've been having a really hard time Same. getting content. Um, mm-hmm. Like, uh, like the game Rainbow Six is just such a bad game right now. It's so like, bad. I can't, I can't enjoy it. Our internet has been dreadful. It's terrible for the past like two weeks. You know what? Fuck it. I'm turning into a gaming channel. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm do. I'm just doing. I. I'm just doing it. Fuck it. Right now. <laughs> right here. Right now. I'm gonna start playing Minecraft and Fortnite. There all the go. all the little twelve year olds are gonna love me. Yeah. And I'm gonna get forty million subscribers by the end of the year just because I started playing Fortnite. It's gonna, it's gonna be it. That's it. I'll have an endless pool of content. Mm-hmm. I build a, I build something in Fortnite. Just you dying. Just me second. dying. Yeah. I would like that. Shit sounds funny. If to you, me. yeah, that would be funny. But you'd have to rage. You would have to. Like that fuck, would be the fuck, 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 fuck. like yeah, you know. yeah. Like there's a I played a game uh, called it's it's a free game on Steam. I played with a bunch of buddies. It was SCP um, something like I don't know if you know what SCPs are, but the it stands for secure uh, secure contain protect. And apparently it's like this thing where people say that um, there's a whole base, uh, like this is real life by the way, mm-hmm. like um, there's a whole base where there's like creatures and shit that the government doesn't want us to know about that yeah. are in these SCP containment units. Mm-hmm. And this game is basically like those like monsters escape and you have yeah. to like like stop them and kill them and there's different forces and factions that are trying to go against each other. And it's super dumb because like anytime my friends become the monster or I become the monster um we just work together like oh. and we just kill everyone else <laughs> it's stupid as fuck but it was so much fun and i genuinely shit my pants yeah if i did or did not that's up to you guys to decide but i wish i was recording because it would have been so much fun yeah and same thing with minecraft we were fucking around so much last night in minecraft mm-hmm. and it's like yeah it's a kid's game guess what i'm 12 in my head if i wasn't 12 true. in my head i wouldn't have like put the porn hub in short two times in my video that's so, very true penis i don't know uh-huh penis <laughs> Uh huh, penis. But uh, yeah, I I mean, do you boo boo? If you want to make, or just make a second gaming, channel. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's so many people that do multiple things. Yeah, it's uh, could you knock it off? One change. <laughs> Please. It's funny he can do it right, and we just get on to him. But if I do it on a bus, I'm a fucking I'm a weirdo. I'm the weirdo. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry. No dog dick was hurt in the making of this video, but Yet. we uh, we don't condone that. We don't condone it. We are not. He is not the voice of this podcast. We are. 
We Whatever are. he says, don't listen to him. And everyone listening on the audio, the sound was Tony just devouring his dick like Kobayashi. So that was not okay. But it happened. It happened. Huh, Tony? It's now we're extremely uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. You see his eyes? Like I don't I can't even see him and his eyes are piercing through. Yeah, me. they're hurting. It's hurting. It's definitely hurting. It's pain. Like I don't He's Why like super exist? tired, dude. He wants to fall asleep, but he literally is He's tired because he oh, like wasted all of his energy trying to escape our setup after destroying it. Yeah. It's terrible. And and that's another thing is like we run into so many problems because we want like we we don't want, but we kind of have to keep the dogs up here. Mm. And they're just like idiots yeah. they're absolutely it's like in my head i'm like how cool would it be for like there's a podcast where like you know you see it and like just animals are walking around and shit like yeah. two dogs just chilling right mm-hmm. two, the two dogs and the two dogs just chilling yeah right? dogs and dog yeah, fucking um one thing i i have been really really focused on is like trying to make stuff that's marketable in the future and like i can't stop doing it like mm-hmm. I, that's all i think about i think about like how can I make this into a shirt later on? So one thing that I've been doing is just like I don't even know where the conversation. I don't know is. where the. Fuck, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. If you saw just a dog just devouring his own dick, just <laughs> rah, 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 like it right there, it's it's scarring and it's, it's weird. very scarring. Well, not for him. He's not scarred. Oh no, him. he's. Hmm. No, but but uh, so I I ha- I spent a lot of time trying to think of like merchandise and stuff like that like that i could come up with later on and i I've, i'm not saying it's holding me back but i'm spending so much time doing it yeah and like i can't help it i really can't like i just i it's something that i'm like sitting there and i think of it and like i'm really into like branding and trying to make marketable stuff that i'm just like wasting so much time doing it so that's another thing that i'm trying to f- figure out is how to stay focused on what i'm doing yeah. because my mind wanders and i'm constantly thinking i'm supposed to be like recording and editing videos and stuff and i've been like thinking of comic book and video game ideas yeah and it's killing my head yeah like i i don't know i just want to focus on everything other than like what i need to at the time sometimes and mm-hmm. it's a little difficult you just gotta get back on track and then like sometimes even like yeah but the thing that i hate is like pushing or forcing myself to get back on track but, like, it's all I think about. Yeah. Like, I'm sitting there doing whatever I'm supposed to be doing. And then, like, in the back of my head, I'm like, yeah, but, like, that one thing. And then I could mm-hmm. do that. And then it'll make that. And mm-hmm. if I combine these two things, like, it would be really cool. Mm-hmm. And then blah, 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 blah. Stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. Yeah. And so, like, I'm running into the issue where even when I tell myself to stop, I'm not stopping. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh... <clears throat> And, like, I think that's a big problem with me, and it's always been a big problem with me, is how do I stay focused on one topic while I'm working on that one topic? But at the same time, like, I'm a creative guy. And, like, to stunt your creativity here to try to make it work somewhere else, I just don't think it's the right way to do it. So, like, mm-hmm. what I've been doing is just working through it. Like, just do it. Like, if something comes to your mind, write it down, do it, take care of it, figure it out, work it to the end, or however you feel comfortable. And then, like, work from there, man. <laughs> Fuck it. Even, like, I'd be, like... But, yeah, so I think cool. that a big part of what we're doing here is setup. Yeah. Like, we're setting up this whole room it's to be so like this. Weird. You know, I don't know if you know this, but, like, the couch isn't always facing away from the TV. Yeah. And yeah. The, the coffee table's not always You know, we watch the, the TV couch. through the reflection of the... Yeah, we have the camera yeah, set up a whole time. the camera set up a whole time so we can just watch TV. Yeah, so it, it definitely... I think that we need to, like, <clears throat> while we are completely just swamped for time at all time, mm-hmm. I think that it would be smart to dive in and figure out, like, a, a good solution to this and maybe rework our environment to where we can, like, plug everything in and just turn it on and record versus moving an entire room around and then right afterwards we spend another 20 30 minutes cleaning everything up and like that's almost the amount of time it takes to like start putting together the podcast Mm -hmm. and editing and stuff so i think that a big thing is time management and we got to figure out better ways to be more efficient 
Yeah, and like that's that's what's important is is realizing when it's a problem before it's too late. Like, yeah. there's I see friction, right? Maybe there's what? tons of friction. Like when we get ready to do our podcast, we're we're running into friction. Yeah, and also it's like which causes the situation to be a little bit more tense, and we're like, fuck, should I set the camera? And yeah, yeah. The should I do it now? Should I wait? If it doesn't work right now, we have to reshoot and reset everything back up, and it's just like it's creating so much friction. It's annoying. And, and like my big thing that I want to work on is just like relieving as much friction as we can to make it easy and I was thinking about it I was like we have a we have a spare room right mm-hmm. but then if we turn that and it's but it's too small like it's a really small bedroom and like it could be okay for like a recording thing but at the same time then we would be out of a spare room and I don't want people like if we do have someone over I don't want them in the same room as our recording equipment like, cause I feel like that would just be like, I don't know. I don't want them touching it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, that's my, sh- that's my shit. Yeah. Like if they fuck with it and like I come in the next morning and like, listen dude, I was just checking out the camera and it broke and I'm sorry. Like it's a fucking $600 camera. Like I don't mm-hmm. want that shit to break and I don't want it to be cause someone fucked with it. So like, it's just yeah. weird. And we don't, and, like we don't have any options. Like this is it. Like mm-hmm. this is honestly the best space for a recording studio, but it's at the same time, it's the worst. Yeah. It's just, I think that we could have a little more things, like a couple more wires and stuff just ready to go. Like if I took the wires, right, and I got longer ones and I set them on the side of the room or where it's out of the way and not noticeable, like you pick them up, you plug everything in and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, maybe getting a green screen to where we don't have to turn the table and the chair and the couch and the TV and everything around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there, I think there's options, but at this moment, it's just like with going back to work and realizing how much friction it's getting, it's getting hard. Yeah. It's tough. And, uh, and I think that, that a big thing to do is stick to your deadlines. Stick to your deadlines. Just get through the hard times. It's like any relationship, right? You're not going to wake up every day and love the person with all of your, you're not going to, you're not going to be, you know always there in like passionate and everything every single day and so the best thing you can do is work through the hard times Mm -hmm. like right now this shit's frustrating the the internet doesn't work my game's not connecting when it does connect the gameplay is terrible because the game's not good yeah our internet's dog shit like i've been downloading a game for three days now three days now yeah like two like two three days ago i started downloading. so we're running into that problem and then the the game i play is dog shit there's no other games coming out right now we can't even connect to the internet where i'm working i'm gone 12 hours a day you're dealing with dogs and one dog who keeps yakking yeah. just like all these things it's a bunch of shit. and it's you like i can't leave them by themselves for or i don't feel comfortable leaving them by themselves for too long because i don't want it to be like i i could probably go and like leave them in a room and be fine but, like, I have the fear of, like, what if I'm gone for a little bit because I want to do something else? Like, I yeah, want to grab yeah. something. Or you and I lose, come back. you just forget about it. Yeah, I forget about it, and I come back, and they've messed something up, or they've hurt each other or something. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, it's just, like, a whole thought process. And like, yeah. I'll just stay in here with them and watch Scrubs for 14 hours. 14 hours of Scrubs. 14 hours of Scrubs, dude. Hey, I'm on season two already. <laughs> I started that show. Fuck it. I technically started a while ago. I started watching it, like, yesterday. Jesus. <laughs> it's terrible. It's a good show, though. It's an amazing show. I love it. Good show. So I think that a big a big thing about this podcast is just stick with it. Mm-hmm. Like uh, like we really were having issues today, and like you know I I have a delivery that I think needs a signature, and like should we wait for after that? We don't know. Mm-hmm. I also really need content because my video is not complete, and it won't be complete unless I get like an ace or two more really insanely good plays. Because it's not a very good... It won't be a good video. It's not. Mm-hmm. The way it is right now, it's very not good. Yeah. And, like, I'm trying to figure out how to make that work. And then I'm just like, should I just scrap this video and play, like, an old game? Like, should I pop open an old game and just have fun? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Because I don't have friends that are down to play an old game. I'd be down to play an old game. Well, yeah, but you're terrible. That could be That could be an added factor. I could be so bad at the game that, like, it's funny. Well, that's something we could talk about. I like, think I was thinking that... about playing Portal 2. I was going to play... I actually, you know, I've, play... I've actually been really wanting to play, like, Portal or, uh, like, I guess Skyrim. I don't think Skyrim's going to be fun. 
Yeah, but it's kind of not what to play. But Portal 2 is. And yeah. I, I was honestly thinking, like, back in the day, I was like, fuck, dude, Portal looks dope. Yeah. And, like, I never I never played any games besides Siege. Yeah. Like, I've basically got hooked on video games playing Siege, and I have nonstop played Siege. I mean, I stopped for a little bit once it got really bad with cheaters mm-hmm. um, and played, like, that. PUBG. And mm-hmm. the che- cheating is back, and I feel like everyone's a cheater, even though a lot of them aren't. I'm just terrible at the game. Mm-hmm. But I feel that's how it feels. It's yeah. like everyone's cheating. You're cheating, you're cheating, you're cheating, I'm cheating. Fuck it. Tony's cheating. We're all cheating. Mm-hmm. And it's not fun. Not a fun game to play right now. Yeah, it's not fun at all. And so that's the whole point of me playing games and making content is I enjoyed what I did. Mm-hmm. And I'm not enjoying playing this game and there's no new games. So my thought process is, do I wait for a new game and just deal with Siege being shitty? Mm-hmm. Or do I just play an old game and deal with people not interested in the content as much? Yeah. I think you gotta, like... We've talked about this so many times before. Yeah. But I think if you... Because, like, right now, your content's based on the gameplay. Like, I got a crazy ace. But I think you need to just direct it more towards, like, make the content based off of your personality. And just, like, try and record with, like, Stuart sometimes. And I know he's not on that much, but just, like, a video a month of you fucking around with Stuart in random games. Yeah. Just, like, dicking around. Just cycle it in. Just cycle it in, yeah. Yeah. Just see how it works. And maybe that'll be, like, your most viewed video from this. Mm. But also... Thank you. thanks everyone who checked. Speaking of new videos, I uplo- I uploaded a new video, right? Mm-hmm. Like like a week ago, May thirteenth. How about that week ago? Week ago. Okay. Anyways. All right, anyway, um, and so it got like a hundred plus views, and it got like twelve likes, which is relatively good for a like to dislike mm-hmm. ratio. Zero dislikes. Oh, um, I and... guess mine didn't go through. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, and uh, people seem to really enjoy it. They're like because like i was talking to some friends and they, actually the people that i was talking to were going to edit for me because they were mm-hmm. really good at it and then like some things happened and some things came up and so i was like i'm just gonna do it and then they're like wait so who'd you have edit the video i was like i had the video I'm like no you didn't mm-hmm. like, yeah i had the video i swear to god spent like you know three days editing that goddamn video pulling two all-nighters and they're like okay and i was like i swear i can even like show you the files like, i got it all and then it was like, like it looked good. It looked too good for someone that like mm. you know just started. And yeah, there were some issues, like um you know there wasn't audio in some clip, like one clip. It was one little bit, and the audio mm-hmm. wasn't there, and it wasn't that funny anyway. So it doesn't matter. That, what, watching it, I I thought it added to it. You know, yeah. like the first time you see that little clip without audio, and then you're like, oh okay, that's funny. But I'm surprised they didn't do the sound. And then the next time you use it, it's with the sound. And you're like, yeah, that's funnier. Okay. Like I feel like it added to it. And, like, that's a big thing is is that it makes, like, your flaws can be funny, too. Mm-hmm. And so, <clears throat> did you learn anything while you did that about your process? Um, so, I had a deadline, May 13th. And I was going to post on May 13th. Like, I no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Mm-hmm. It was late on May 13th that I posted it, but I, ended, I still did it. I still made it. And since I, like, pushed myself so hard to make it, and I uploaded it right when I got done editing, mm-hmm. I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna post it. I'm pretty sure everything's good. We're fine. Yeah. And since I didn't look it over, I've there was a lot of mistakes I went through, and like I made an end card for the video, right? Like I I drew my own like end card. Yeah. Um. How did it look? What did you think about it? And... I liked it, but I didn't. I should. Okay. So the issue with it was that at the end of like your video or whenever you're uploading your video, it says like um and like end title or something like that. Or and annotation, mm-hmm. and on it you can put like channels and videos, and for some reason, like they have very specific places where you can place everything, mm-hmm. and so and I didn't know that. Like I thought it's like oh you just put the circle on screen and there you go, it's mm-hmm. done. And I don't understand why things can't overlay. Like literally, here's the two channel things, right? And here's the video, and you can't have the this slightly overlap the video. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just weird. So I had to make a new one, like, after I uploaded that video. Because I was like, I'm not going to make a new one now. I have to get this video out. Yeah. Um, and little did I know, I spelled subscribe wrong. Subscribe I put wrong. subscribe. Subscribe. Little subscribe. Uh, I made a new one, though. It's subscribe. It'll be at the end of the next video. I'm not sure when that's going to come out. Uh, we're going to yeah. try and record it, like, maybe tomorrow. Or the next day. Or like, fuck, I don't know. Yeah. All I know is it's going to get done. We're going to do it. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to have fun with it. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it. 
Um, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, we will see. see. So, um, <clears throat> you didn't. So, what you're saying is, is that you didn't give yourself enough time to watch the video no. and take your notes and go over it. Um, if if you would have had more time, you would have definitely done that. And yeah. you would have caught those mistakes, and you would have been able to see that the annotation for the overlay or the end card would have been off. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. So I think that's good to know. First off, if you want to have an end card where you have different things pop up on screen, it's very specific layout. Check that before you start mm-hmm. drawing your stuff. That's really great to know, because mm-hmm. I was thinking about getting an end card too, but I just hadn't yeah and mine still may not even be right like i have yet to check yeah if it isn't i can definitely just resize some things and reshape them yeah i think it'd be good to look look that up maybe there's a template you know what i mean there might be a template if not maybe we could work one maybe you know um so i think that'll be good to look into uh we'll have that on the next video if we can find it um but there's i'm sure there's help for stuff like that and then you know there's always help. Yeah, there's always help. And so, you know, if you give yourself enough time to prepare and enough time to review and enough time to edit, you'll be good. Mm-hmm. And everything will turn out the way you want it to. But if you start setting unrealistic goals, you're going to run into issues. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just a given. I mean, yeah. come on. Come on. Yeah. It's just a given. G- 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 <laughs> okay. All right, Timmy. <laughs> that was what I was going for. Or Jimmy. Sorry. Jimmy, yeah. yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Nice shoes. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so you can always find, like, what you're looking for or uh, just layouts. There's so many templates out there, layouts, suggestions, you know. Um, I do think it's really weird that on your channel you have to type in your entire name before it pops before up. Before it pops up. It's like, like it's, like, my name is very unique. Right? Yeah. I'm not and, it, and then, like, on top of that, you start typing your name. It's, like, Tate, uh, Kat, and it's, like, it'll give you stuff that's completely unrelated yeah. to that. And so if it's giving you that stuff to try to match it, but it's not giving, I think that's something to look into. Maybe. Like, maybe, maybe we could figure out, like, a... I honestly just think I need to get and okay. So here's the weird, the weirdest part about it, right? My name's very unique. I'm 99% sure that I'm the only person in the world with the name Take Pizza. And if I'm not, fuck, dude, hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> um. And so whenever you type in the name, like, and also it's spelt weird. Mm-hmm. It's T A T E K A P I T Z A. So like, whenever you get to Capitz. Like K A P I T Z, one letter left. It still doesn't show up with my shit. Yeah, you it's, have to type yeah, the entire thing. Yeah, and then you type an A, and then it shows my channel. Take Even pizza. when you're subscribed to your channel. Exactly. He was subscribed to my channel. We tried to look it up on TV, and it just didn't. It, was, it was like you have to type out the yeah. entire thing, and that's that could be really frustrating. That could be frustrating as fuck. For the people trying to look for you, especially yeah. in the audio version of this, because at the end we're gonna say like, "Hey, look up my stuff, yeah, take pizza," stuff. Yeah. and like. Tick, 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 you know, there's not like a link like we're gonna put in the video. Yeah, no. uh, so damn, I think that that's something that mm-hmm. we really gotta figure out, and it'll be good because mm-hmm. I want to know like mm-hmm. if people start typing in sweaty Brock, mm-hmm. you know, sweaty B, and then like what? How can I make mine yeah. higher up on the list? Yeah, exactly. Um, I think it's just getting more traction. I don't know. I think there might be something else to it because mm-hmm. like on my videos, mine shows up faster because I tagged. Sweaty B, sweaty, 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 spelt wrong. Mm. I put as many tags in there as I can so that when you start typing sweaty B, it'll put up, Mm -hmm. pull it up. So that's something to think about too. Um, You did also create your own thumbnail. Mm -hmm. You drew your own thumbnail. Thumbnail is dope. It looks amazing. Dope as fuck. To be honest, it looks fucking dope. Yeah, I'm doing that. I already have the next thumbnail made for the next video because like it's... There's not much I can do. It was literally just probably going to be the same thumbnail I had for the first video, but with something else in there instead of yeah, the chicken yeah. wing. Um, but now I'm going to, like, I made it different. I really, like, I looked up some stuff. It looks really good. I use like, splatter, mm-hmm. like, digitally, which was interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was dope. Um, but, yeah, I'm really excited for that. 
And also, weird thing about the YouTube is that if you type in Take a Pizza, yeah, my channel shows up and my video shows up. But also, the Bro Create podcast shows up. So it knows mm-hmm. it's me. So, like, it knows, but it doesn't know at the same time. And I'm like, why? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's really strange. It's strange. And then, like, also the Pizza Van shows up. And yeah. It's like, so all these channels that I'm linked to show up, but not... Not before it's not the before very it's last literally thing. the very last thing. It's cool. And it's like I'm pretty sure it was Tate Dog Pizza. Like what? I don't know. It's definitely strange, and we're gonna do everything we can to figure out how to get that higher or easier um, to find. Uh, and when you create a YouTube video, for those of you that don't know, when you create a YouTube video, uh, you can add tags later on, and then just save it without really messing up your video or the views or anything like that so mm-hmm. i think that we'll go through and we'll add that in there to the last video you did and maybe try to search it again and see if that does anything hopefully because that's a huge problem in my opinion that's a huge problem if people can't find you quicker yeah i remember with like because i started a youtube channel back in fifth grade mm-hmm. and my name was like tactical gamer or something like that because mm-hmm. it was a gaming channel and um, people would have to would search up my full name, right? And sometimes it was Tater Tot Tunes because I wanted to become an animation channel at one point, and that didn't work out. <laughs> um, and so people, I tell people to look it up, and they look it up, and then they'd be like, I can't, I don't see it. Mm-hmm. And it's like I have videos under the name, and but what they have to do, which I'm glad YouTube has changed it. If you type in the full name, it just shows up. Um, but what you have to do is go to filter and click channel, and then my channel would show up. Hmm. I so just weird. don't understand why. Yeah, so there are things like that, and I think it's important for you to go through, and maybe, you know, you have your another channel or your friend's channel where they could search it and just see what it looks like. How far down the list is it? If you're looking at it and you start typing it in, do you have to scroll down to see it, or is it in those top, like, four that show up on screen immediately? Because I think that'll make all the difference, too. Yeah. If somebody was looking up Tate K, because, you know, they don't have, they didn't listen to it that very second. They were maybe out to dinner and they had it in their audio. And then they went home and they're like, oh yeah, it was Tate K. And then like, they can't find you. Like that's, that's that us. Sucks, yeah. yeah. And especially with the unique name like Tate. And then on top of that, Tate K. And on top of that, Tate Capizza. Like, yeah. fuck. It's tough. Like, I definitely think that we'll be trying to figure that out. How to put your... Like, is there a way to get yourself higher up on the list mm-hmm. without having to be amazing? Yeah. You know? Because we, un- we both have very unique names. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that there's a way to definitely get us up there. Just to where we could be like, yeah, search Sweaty Brock. Doesn't matter which way you search it, you're going to find it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice to know. Like, I've misspelled, like, you know whenever you hear a lyric on, like, in something, you're like, I wonder what that song's called. Then you go on YouTube and you just type in that lyric and the whole song pops up. Yeah. It's like, why can't it do that? But take a pizza. Mm-hmm. The we- a weird fucking name. Like it's a weird name, but I love it. Mm-hmm. I type in nothing. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I think that'll be really good to dive into. Your thumbnail was amazing. Thank you. I think that 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 was very eye catching and it was dope. And if you want, I can make. How it. quick? How quick did it take for you to make that? Uh, I made that like right before the video went out. I was like, I need to make a maybe like thing. twenty minutes. For twenty minutes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's I mean, that's value. In all honesty, if you want me to make, because like we've seen like say Rainbow Six Siege YouTubers like make thumbnails, right? And mm-hmm. and the, my drawing software, I literally can like put a picture in and erase around whatever I need to like cut out basically, mm-hmm. and it's super easy. Yeah. So if you want me to make your thumbnail, like, well, I have I have uh, some some new saw uh, some new stuff coming. So mm-hmm. I think I would like to make my own. Okay. Um, I the whole point was is of me getting this iPad was that I wanted to get Procreate because it seemed like it was easier to send between softwares mm-hmm. through Procreate. Yeah. So use it almost as a medium. Yeah. Um. Because that's what my favorite artist does. He draws and procreates, sends it over to Photoshop or Illustrator for Adobe, and then he can mess with it from there. Yeah. And I want to, I want to use that. So I kind of dabbled a little bit on my, uh, on my work iPad, but I can't really download things and purchase things through there. So I, I've got a new iPad. Um, it should be here today. And then that way I can really play with that. I would prefer to make all my own stuff. Okay because that's just the way i am Mm -hmm. and like 
if I don't do it, I'll think about it constantly. Like, it could you have know? been this. Yeah. It could have been that. Or just, like, I'm thinking about ideas to tell you, and then that stomps on, like, your creative. Yeah, no, it you makes know? your video. So, and like, so, why I would, like, but yeah, I understand that, like, way of thinking. Yeah, and plus, like, I love art, and I want to get better at it. Yeah. I, I, I used to, I used to draw, like, every other day, and, like, I suck at drawing now. Mm-hmm. Like, it's terrible. Yeah. And, like, I think that's something that I used to do a I mean, lot. you're not, you're honestly not that bad. Like, I'm not that bad about, like, certain things. Like, yeah. I can draw hands like a motherfucker. I know that. Mm-hmm. And, like, I can draw other things decently. Um, but the fact that, like, when we do, like, those little Pictionary games, like, I feel mm-hmm. stupid when I draw. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I just, my general shapes and stuff are just not what they used to be, so. Then again, I've been, like, so this is weird, but, like, I've been doing it since I was in fifth grade. Right around. Well, I started doing it like really. Well, yeah, grade. but at your age, yeah. I was like that. Yeah. I mean, not as good. I'm. I never was as good as you at drawing. Yeah. But I had been drawing since yeah. fifth grade, or kindergarten, probably. Yeah. I had been drawing because you know my uncle did it. Dad drew every day on my little lunchbox thing. Oh yeah. For those brown paper bags, he drew on those every day, and like I love drawing. Mm-hmm. But I stopped. Like once once I was done with it in art class, mm-hmm. I never drew again. Yeah. Like I didn't really care. Art class is so draining. Like it almost made me stop art completely. Yeah. Like it was after I was like I'm never taking an art class again. That's when I started doing it like really. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, I mean, for me, since I've been doing it as long as I have, and I've gotten to the point where I'm at, for me, I, I feel like whenever people, because I've like a lot of people come up to me like I'm so bad at art. How do you do it? And it's like, let's well, just practice. practice. And, and honestly, 100%. it's a, it's an absolute mental block. Mm-hmm. You put the, whenever you say to yourself, oh, I'm terrible at art. Like you're already saying, this is going to look terrible. Mm-hmm. And like, sometimes it's like, you just got to do it. Yeah. Like there's a lot of shit. I still don't know how to draw. Like I'm terrible at drawing cars. Mm-hmm. Like I have to trace a car every time I do one. Oh, look, spoil them. Yeah. yeah. Every time, if you ever see me draw a car, it's traced. Definitely true. Um, because I just don't understand crazy. like how like. All the different, like, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't click in my head like that. Yeah, yeah. But, like, you know, there's workarounds. And, mm-hmm. honestly, tracing helps a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, I traced Ant-Man one time whenever, like, I got, a, like, a drawing tablet and I just traced it. And it helped me understand anatomy a lot and, like, how things looked. And now, like, my style's very conformed mm-hmm. to a certain way. So, it's, at, like, yeah, sure, some people are better at art than others, but art is subjective. Yeah. So like sometimes like there was one kid in my art class and his like stuff looked really shaky and he was like, I just don't like the way it, like it's it's like that. Look like how shaky it is. And for me, it added something to it. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, yeah, like it looks like literally looks like um, I don't know what it's called, like scumbling. It looked like scumbling, like in which is where you draw in squiggles. And I was like, that's yeah. dope. Like you should keep working um, on that. He did. And he embraced it. And his sh- shit looked so much better. Yeah. It's about embracing what you can and can't do. Can and can't do, yeah. Yeah. Just understand your boundaries and mm-hmm. and do your best to to capitalize on your your strengths and and kind of worry less about your weaknesses. Yeah. I but art art is a big thing and like I've spent a lot of time trying to get back into art. Like I said before, I don't want to stump any of my creativity mm-hmm. and try to reallocate it somewhere else because that's just not the way I work. Yeah. Because my mind is still on the other topic. Mm-hmm. I have to see it through or else it's done. Mm-hmm. Or, like, I can't do it. I can't move past stuff very easily. And so, like, um, <clears throat> you know, mm-hmm. if you think something's interesting, try it out. And don't be afraid to document it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm... I'm probably gonna document me trying these shoes. Mm-hmm. And, That'd be dope. Uh, I, I watched that. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. But I but I I have some shoes that I I like them, but I I don't wear them very much because I'm not a big fan of white. Mm-hmm. I I can't keep them white. Yeah. I tried. I've already tried. Uh, and I don't keep them white, so I was like, you know what? Let me try to paint them because I've always wanted to paint some Jordans. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to paint these bad boys. Dope! I can't wait. In the next few days, I think I'm gonna mm-hmm. try. I'm not a painter. I'm not an artist. I draw sometimes, mm-hmm. and I've been working on it with my like the iPad and stuff. But this will be the first like paint I've ever touched to anything. I'm gonna try and paint shoes too. Like there's a pair. Even of... in high school, I didn't do the painting thing. <laughs> yeah, I hate painting. I did sketches. If you guys have ever seen painting with tape? I hate painting. <laughs> 
Um, but um, yeah, no, I actually wanted to do the shoe thing too, and I wanted to get a pair of white Converse. And I have two little characters based on our dogs that I want to do on both shoes, mm-hmm. and just some like some some goofy fun. Some goofy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I want to get good at like intricate details. I feel like whenever I'm painting, I go really hard at things. I'm used to like sketching in pencil, where you like kind of have to get harder and lighter mm-hmm. and harder and lighter. But brushes, it's not like that. It's like yeah. a consistent like color for the way. I I do remember one time I tried to do something small like. I think I used to make model cars Mm -hmm. and like my paint, the paint always turned out shitty for me, Mm -hmm. but I wasn't patient. Like I would paint a coat and I'd be like, okay, it's not even fully dried. And I'd be trying to paint something else and it looked shitty. Yeah. Yeah, And it's like, this time I'm going to try to be smart. Take my time. You know, I'm going to, I'm just going to have fun with it. And like, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm a gaming channel, but like, you bet your ass if I make a video on this, I'm gonna upload it on the gaming channel. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, it's I your, always... it's your, it's your channel. Put whatever you yeah. want on it. One, like one of my ideas for whenever I wanted to do YouTube that I'm trying to work my way toward, because I think it'd be awesome, is like a universal channel for like a bunch of different content. Yeah. Like on month, like re- really, one of my ideas before was like Mondays would be like um, vlogs mm-hmm. and like stuff like that. Wednesdays would be um, like sketches, and Fridays would be gaming videos. Or yeah. I think Friday and sketches. Which yeah, because it'd be like Friday would be the big sketch, like the yeah. big like sketch we've been working on all week that would probably stem from the vlog, right? Mm-hmm. But um, and then Wednesday would be the gaming video with my friends, and I've been thinking about it, and I'm like, I'm gonna do it again, especially since like before, because like before when I wanted to do that, like recording gaming wasn't as easy. Like I had to get like El- an Elgato, right, which I mm-hmm. had. Um, and um, with sketches, I didn't have people that wanted to do them with me, and now I do. Mm. And but like I can now I can only do like gaming and whatever and um, vlogging kind of. Yeah. Like I I consider the hot ones thing like a vlog almost. Like it definitely seemed scripted at some points, but all my answers were just off the cuff. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, I I I scripted what I was gonna say a lot. Yeah, but that was it. Uh, but you know, it was very organic, and mm-hmm. I liked it. Was it. it was fun. It was, it was a, a fun, fun video. Record. Um. I definitely. It's, is it bad that I'm almost glad that we had to reshoot it? Because like it, it led to a lot of really funny bits, like the that's a Raven thing. I learned so much doing that, dude. Yeah. I was like, Fuck. Cool. Yeah, I I I agree. Um, and you realize how drastic the hotlings are not as hot when you dilute, when you actually do what the bottle says. I literally just had the weird experience. I can feel the bomb. Like I, <laughs> oh I sh- I'm not even joking. I like can smell it for some reason. Yeah, no, like, I can't. I feel like I could too at that moment mm-hmm. uh, when I said something about it. But yeah, when you dilute, so on the bottles, on most of the extremely hot bottles, it says do not eat without diluting. Mm-hmm. With do not consume without dilution. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we the first time we didn't dilute shit. Fuck no. We didn't add water. We didn't add a little bit of any other thing. We didn't do anything. We just poured it, drenched the wings in sauce that you're not supposed to take more than a drop of. Yeah. And we ate it. Yeah. And, like, that shit destroyed us. And then the second time, I didn't dilute everything, but to the hot ones that said on the bottles, do do not consume without dilution. Yeah. I put a little bit of water in it. Not very much, again, but it was still... They're pretty hot. <laughs> Still pretty damn hot. So. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. And uh, and for right now, we're just trying to juggle us getting back on different schedules. And then um, working through what we're doing. Trying to come up with solutions to our problems. Yeah. And uh, let it roll, man. Yeah, just kind of go with the flow. Fuck it. I think this podcast was so, like, we try to make it so uniform and professional. But, like, we realize that everything we're doing is uniform and professional so why would we act like it is yeah yeah that's you a good point like, yeah you know you know bro last week stocks were crazy like that's mm-hmm. what it started to feel like and i was yeah. like what the fuck are we talking about like i listened to myself talk and i was like that's not how i talk yeah and, no, I agree. but now i feel like with this one i'm like yeah fun yeah 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 and and you know you want to make content that you feel comfortable creating yeah and so that's it's a good good point um <clears throat> So, uh, was there anything else from this week that you learned? The, I mean, just to summarize, basically, the thumbnail is dope. Thank you. The, um, the banner 
Your banner was amazing. Your logo, love I, it. I love the banner and the logo. Love they it. Match. Other than the missing C or S, whatever it was. The end card um, was good. I, I mean, like the, I like the new end card better. Though. It looked really good. I like good. the new one better. Yeah. The layout will definitely have have to look more into that. And I've been thinking about merch, and I'm like, I don't want that my logo to be on any piece of merch. I've, I've realized that. Because, mm. like, it's just my face. It's just my yeah. face, but colorless. Yeah. Or um, featureless. Featureless. Yeah. So, um, what I think I'm going to do is take one aspect of it and make it a thing. Like, I was thinking about the glasses. Mm. Like, taking, even though I don't want glasses anymore, I want to take the glasses. And I want to, like, make them their own logo. And mm. make them their own merch. And then that'd be like, oh, that's Tate's merch. Like, those glasses? Mm. Yeah, that's Tate's merch. Yeah. Yeah, because it looks, it looks cool. It looks cool. Um, and, like, just these glasses look very classy and dirty. Um, extremely dirty. Extremely dirty. Um, but yeah, and I uh, like, and I think that'd be like very, um, I don't know, marketable. Um, mm-hmm. I think more than just a featureless face. Yeah. And I mean, I know it's a featureless face, so you couldn't really tell it's me. But still, I just feel like it's like I don't know. It's just not. Yeah. It's just not. It's not what I want. Mm-hmm. So, I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm very proud of everything I've done, and I'm glad I could because I w- always wanted to integrate art into YouTube somehow, and I'm glad I could do it via that. And um and with you I'm very excited for what you got in store and like I just can't wait to see it happen like uh the last video was great that you put out I loved it mm-hmm. um I'm excited for the shoes um that might be a video um, yeah, yeah might be I'm not entirely sure I honestly the only thing that I'm saying it might be is because I'm trying to think right now how would I set up the camera and stuff and I'm like uh you brought my camera yeah yeah no I know well yeah I was planning on it okay. but like. <laughs> what angle like i was just trying to break it down and that's another problem is like i'm sitting here we're doing a podcast i'm thinking about the stupid camera setup on Mm -hmm. this on these i may or may not record me doing these jordans like why i I have an idea like um you use that table that's tall you put the camera on the table you aim it down and just what you're doing yeah and then that'd be good yeah i i definitely want to document i think it'd be fun and then plus like you know the person that inspired me to do art again i think he would uh, you know, like he's a big artist and he doesn't have time for me, but maybe he'll like to see yeah. me try to do something. And he's that talked he did. to you before, so yeah, maybe. Maybe you're like, so, oh, I remember that name. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll check it out. Yeah, and so, and that's another thing is like, don't be afraid. Like, people have time. Like, think about how much time you spend on social media. Like, the people who are creating stuff on social media are spending the same amount of time looking through their messages and stuff. So. Don't be afraid to reach out, ask questions, mm-hmm. get to know some people, because it'll come in handy. I, I appreciate you saying that my video was nice. Yeah, um, I like but um, what's uh, how how long do we wait till the next Tate Capizza? I don't know. I don't want my, at the moment, especially with everything going on. I don't want my videos to be bound to a schedule yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe whenever I can have an easier stream of content would be mm-hmm. different. I understand that. Um, but yeah, I think I yeah. After talking about it, I want my channel to be in the direction that there's something for everyone. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, sure. The gaming videos, I know for a fact, the gaming videos aren't going to get as many views as the, you know, comedy and like vlog videos because a, a lot more broader audiences mm-hmm. like that kind of stuff, right? Because there's a, definitely a lot of people that don't like gaming videos, but I it's something I want to make. And yeah, it, it would keep me having content being put out, and it would mm-hmm. keep me in the algorithm. Yeah, and so I think I'm going to do that. So who knows? Um, I definitely want it to be within the next two weeks. So, next two weeks, next for two sure, weeks, with for the sure. gaming video, uh, and then with the with the um, the video we talked video about. We talked about. Oh, okay, okay. Um, the gaming thing, I'm not too sure on yet. Not we'll too see. sure on, we'll yeah. See. Okay, well, I mean, yeah. I'm I'm gonna probably do my shoes. I was gonna do these black, the black. Uh, um, <clears throat> I was gonna do this, some black retros that I had that were gonna be thrown away pretty much mm-hmm. first, but they stink. Because they are stuck outside and stuff. They smell so bad. I don't think I'm going to use them. I, I can't even bring them inside to paint on them. Mm-hmm. And in all honesty, it's kind of a waste of paint. Yeah. And so I'm just going to go big on this big one that I want to do. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Yeah. I will probably put it on my channel. I'm, I'm thinking unless something happens with the footage and I don't like it or it doesn't turn out very good, mm-hmm. I'm, f- I'm very sure that I'm going to put it out. And uh, I'm, I think a big thing that we talked about, and I really want to drive home for you guys: stay creative. Stay creative. Don't don't stop yourself from being yourself, yeah. because that's what everyone's gonna enjoy. 
I'm chaotic. My brain goes 100 miles an hour all the time. That's who I am. Take it or leave it. I love every single person that's tuned into the podcast. I appreciate every second you spend on my channel. Mm -hmm. And just be aware that my content is not changing. I'm going to release gaming videos and stuff. But I'm going to be true to who I am. And if I want to make a video about this and that, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. And I just hope you guys enjoy it. I love it each and every person for stopping by thank you guys so much for checking out chapter six thank you guys so much and uh where can they find you tate um they can find me on youtube at take a pizza or the pizza van um you can find me on instagram at tate Daca pizza you can find me on um twitter tate underscore Capizza, and then tiktok tate Daca pizza and then snapchat at tate Daca pizza what about you sweaty brock on everything you know all of the social medias nice and uh all of the um content uh sites so search me look for me i'm everywhere sweaty brock no underscores no periods just sweaty brock all the way across um and then uh keep an eye out i'm definitely gonna paint those shoes probably this weekend uh hopefully i can throw up a video this weekend about me doing it or the process maybe i'll make two parts yeah like what had to happen um but I'm also going to be finishing up my gaming video, hopefully this weekend. Dope. I just need two more clips. It'll be out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping in. Fucking love you all. We'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Deuces. See you.